At the Public Defender's Office, we have a number of clients who are in jail, uh, especially by the time they get to trial, because they can't afford to post their bond. And to make sure they get a fair trial, we make sure we dress them uh, in a way that looks respectful and professional for the court. Mostly pants and shirts. I mean, we have ties, belts, socks, shoes. We dress our clients in regular clothes because first impressions are really important and jurors are going to focus on their clothing whether they're supposed to or not and if they see those people in a jumpsuit with handcuffs they're going to have a very negative first impression and we want them to focus on what the evidence actually right. is and not on a client that's wearing a jumpsuit that just gives us a really big disadvantage um, right from the get-go. How do I pick them out? Right. Uh, it depends on the kind of case. I, if it's a gang kind of case sometimes I'll try and dress them what I perceive to be possibly a little nerdier than, than what your average gang member would be. I try to, to lower the, the intimidation factor that's, that uh, most of the jurors, I believe, would have. If they've got lots of tattoos, I try and get the tattoos covered up. Well, all the attorneys are in suits, the state's attorneys in suits, the judges in a row, and so they want to kind of be part of the decorum of everyone else. And, just because they don't have access to a suit, you don't want them to be the one who looks different. And they're part of the proceeding too, especially if it's in front of a jury, you want them to look like everyone else who's there, to be wearing the suit, um, to show that you know they take it seriously too.